All right, well, it looks like we're not getting out today because fake spring is a real thing here. Let's fast forward in three, two, one. Ah, damn it. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. That is more like it. What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. And like I said, that is more like it. Finally got a day to come out here and do some riding. When it is nice out. No more fake winter, fake spring, fake winter, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, that might still be coming, but we'll see. No more rain, at least today. So it's actually been pretty nice all weekend, but I've had to work. Ah, it just feels great to get out, you know, after not riding for probably over a week. It feels really nice to be back out on two wheels, get some of that throttle therapy in. You know, I, I say it all the time and, and sometimes I feel like I just don't say it enough, but man, you really got to take advantage of these nice days. And I was really frustrated because with my work schedule, any kind of decent time of the day just was kind of out of the question this last week. And so, you know, that taking advantage of the nice day was just really something that needed to happen. <laughs> I woke up this morning, wasn't feeling too great. Kind of made the little decision in my head was early on in the day. I was like, I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to ride today. But that changed, cause like about an hour ago or so, yeah, a couple hours ago, I was like, you know what? I don't know how many other options or opportunities I'm going to get a chance to ride in the next couple days because it is still, you know, it's the Pacific Northwest, so it is still springtime and basically any day could have rain. So I would love to be out riding every single day, but this time of year between the work schedule and everything else, it just isn't going to happen, you know, with the rain and weather and all kinds of stuff. So I'm excited to be out on two wheels today and I just got to go for it we'll see what this looks like in a couple weeks when there's less stuff everywhere oh a saw dude I don't <laughs> saw dude it's kind of hard to see the sun's back there instead of like up there so yeah talking about taking advantage of nice weather I think I mentioned earlier something about fake spring and honestly growing up here I hadn't really heard of that concept a lot but it's kind of funny because when I did hear about it it made a lot of sense in my mind and was just kind of something that I always found normal and was kind of used to but basically it's just a kind of a term up here in western Washington that people put for when it's just after January and February it's kind of mid mid to end of February time around there where we have a couple nice days where it's like clear not a cloud in the sky and you know a little bit warmer and when I say warmer not crazy warm warm for this time of year normally we're in the 20s to 40s and maybe these days would be in the 50s or so so it's you know nicer weather less rain the problem is it doesn't last because then it immediately switches back to raining and cold and sometimes it even snows for, you know, well, some years we'll even have the biggest snowstorm of the year right after fake spring has happened. It's called fake spring because it's kind of like this false sense of, you know, there being nice weather and we're out of the clear of winter and nope, back to rain, back to snow, cold days, all that fun stuff. So hopefully now, we're not too much farther away from actually having real spring. Things are kind of you know, crazy with work, 
catastrophic. I was gonna say catastrophic. I don't know. <laughs> I guess catastrophic. But things are kind of crazy with work at the moment. So, I, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't necessarily even have a big plan to ride today. But I got a chance to get out on two wheels and I'm loving it. Uh, instant no regrets. <laughs> as soon as the bike fired up, no regrets. So, just kind of talking about whatever pops in my head. My hope is that as I kind of get into a groove, I can kind of get into a better place of figuring out what I'm going to talk about and having plans or, you know, doing series and things like that. Oh, nice green light. Some moto vloggers will have different series that they'll do on a somewhat consistent basis. So I'm kind of looking into that and seeing, you know, if there's any kind of specific thing that I could take a leap with and enjoy. Trying to pull the clutch in and do the biker wave. Kind of a pain. Wait for this guy to go. No turn signal. Remember y'all always gotta ride safe everybody and mind those surroundings. Always keep an eye on everybody that's around you. One other thing, if you have not had a chance to hit the subscribe button, go ahead and navigate your way on down to that button, kind of in this corner. I don't know where I'm pointing. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. So hit that subscribe button because more stuff is coming and the content's going to be increased. I got plenty of Honda Rebel 500 content and I don't know. We'll see where the channel goes. We'll see where it takes me. I'm looking to, you know, expand the channel and just kind of figure out different ways that I can kind of make it look cool. So one of them that, I, that I've seen other moto vloggers do is kind of have a neat little outro video. You know, they're like kind of just chilling or them kind of just riding around or whatever. So um, I'm a big fan of the outro video. Kind of gives a good little tie-in to the end of the video and everything. And so I'm just going to go check it on out. Blah, got a bug in my mouth or something. There's all this uh, street lighting. So it'd be kind of a cool way to, you know, get a nice little photo opportunity of the bike. This is probably also where I'm going to practice for the endorsement test. I don't know how many people actually practice. Just a bird. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Just working away at getting those videos edited. My fear is, is that I'm going to not have enough videos ready to go. And then I'm going to have to postpone posting. And that's not a huge deal, I don't think, when you're getting started out. But any of the added extra stress, you know. I'm trying to do this motovlog as something that is a good way for me to relax and kind of be creative. And kind of deep dive into something that's kind of interesting and different than anything that I do professionally. And so the idea of just trying to make it like turn it into something that's going to have like these deadlines which i know it, that is going to naturally occur but like turn it into something that's really going to start adding to the stress level is just not something i'm really looking forward to doing and um you know we'll see what, what happens and how things evolve and change but as things stand right now i just want to do this for fun and have have fun with it <sighs> Whew, getting kind of hot in the visor see what i mean it's a nice day. I wonder if I'm not going to trip the sensor. I swear I've been at this light before. I could always go right. Or am I too far forward? I don't know. Alright, if no one's looking, I'm going for it. There's a car coming. Frick! Damn left turns. Send it! All right, generally I do not advocate for running red lights, however, when you are on a motorcycle and the light is not changing, you have to sometimes take matters into your own hands. I'm definitely getting hungry here. I realized that I had a pretty good late breakfast today, but no real lunch. And so now that we're getting close to dinner time, definitely feeling it. It's all good. Oh man, I could have gone left back there. Oh well ride the old loop just a little bit of casual ride one of the things that i've been trying to figure out obviously that i've mentioned in the past is the mic placement in my helmet 
and I think I had something that was pretty good a couple videos ago, and then I I just I list I only listened to it on the GoPro. I didn't listen to it on the computer uh, with you know good speakers, and then I moved it, and then after the fact listened to the audio from that where I had that mic, and I was like, oh dang it, it was good, and then the place I moved it wasn't very good and so I'm gonna have to kind of when I get to that video I'm gonna have to kind of look at it because I might end up not including it and unfortunately deleting it because you got to have good audio you know when I watch moto vlogs I want to not be really distracted by the audio I want to be able to focus and pay attention to what the writer is saying it is Sunday and I do not want to go back to work tomorrow you know you kind of ever get that feeling where you get to the beginning of the weekend and like you're like oh man i got plenty of time and then the weekend flies by and then you don't have plenty of time anymore and it's sunday afternoon and you're like dang it i just i don't want to go to work tomorrow i'm not feeling it you know two days not enough time off for this week We've got daylight savings day coming on up here in a couple weeks so that'll be nice because that means more sunlight in the evening. So right now, so it's 5 o'clock, eh, 5.12, and <laughs> the sun is right there. But, you know, in a couple weeks, it's going to be 5.12, and the sun's going to be like right there. And it's going to be great. <laughs> Hopefully those people don't think I was like flipping them off or waving at them or something like that. <laughs> My bee. The other thing I gotta figure out is the wind noise and this windscreen right here. Man, I have loved it. But I also do see where some of the frustrations are. I'm confident at some point that I plan to do a review. You know, I won't do an installation uh, video because I already installed the windscreen, but I'll do a review for it and put it out there. I see a lot of people on the Honda Rebel 500 pages, various pages asking, you know about this you know they ask about this windscreen they at windscreen they ask about the various seat options whether it is the mustang seat that i'm sitting on or the corbin seat they also ask about uh, various exhausts so they ask about the shorted gp by radiant cycles it's a, just a quick little slip-on cheap exhaust from Amazon. And then the other one that I see a lot is the Vance & Hines exhaust for the Honda Rebel 500. So all of those items I plan on doing reviews of or giving my thoughts on in various ways. I'm going to flip off here or slide off here so that I don't have to look at the damn sun anymore. Man, I got to work on my turns. They're just wide today. I plan on doing reviews or videos of most of those items uh, to come just because, you know, I see them all the time and I'm interested to see how they do on my bike. There's usually positive feedback for most of them, but, you know, it'd be kind of interesting just to see what it's like for me. You know, I've planned on getting an exhaust anyway and just kind of seeing what comes from it. So stay tuned for all that. Should be coming down the pipeline. Oh man, I hit my friggin' mirror again. I hate that so much. I think I hit it like that. So if we just do like that. Don't mess with your mirrors while you're riding. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Another thing about the mirrors. One of the things that I see a lot of people doing is flipping the mirrors. And aesthetically, I totally get why it looks nice. Like, just kind of get that clean, flat look. Although, I don't know if it would make a difference for my bike because I got the windscreen sticking up. But... I'm really curious to see what it looks like from a rider point of view because a lot of people say that it actually enhances your field of vision. Curious on if it actually enhances the field of vision because, from my, you know, from my experience, I feel like my field of vision is actually pretty solid. I do see my shoulders and my arms a little bit, but it's just hard for me to imagine switching down. You know, I mean, I have to move my head a little bit more. So I have to get used to that. And I know some that's kind of one of the primary arguments against it is that you have to move your head off the road. So I don't know. Had some flooding back here. I got all those like iPhone weather app warnings like flooding in your area. Try not to hit that gravel too hard. <laughs> oh, did not shift into second gear properly right there. Still mess that up from time to time. <laughs> and I'm still hitting the blinker. 
Buggy car! Alright, it's all good. Why is it... All of a sudden feels like I got a lot of play in my throttle cable. Like, I don't know. One thing I was uh, thinking about today, too. <laughs> uh, this is kind of funny, and it's kind of stupid, so I apologize in advance for the stupidity that is about to precede this part. I was thinking about the word justification, you know, like if I need to justify something, uh, like what is the justification of doing something? And I, for, I have no idea why, but for whatever reason, it popped in my head that justification sounds like the phrase just a vacation. Like if I'm going on just a vacation, like, oh, hey, what are you doing next week? Oh, I'm just a vacation. Oh, what are you doing in town? Just a vacation. You know, that kind of thing. It totally sounds like justification. And if you say both of them really close or re really quickly, justification and just a vacation, I feel like you're like, what one are you saying, bruh? I don't know. What one am I saying, bruh? Damn it. I'm going to be the first one at this light, which means it's going to freaking not register me. So that blows. Oh, I got to also work on, I've noticed in some of my videos, like when I get to the stop and breathing, you know, from my perspective now, it just sounds like I'm breathing normally. But then I guess based on, you know, the precise part where the mic is and everything, it's... <laughs> It sounds like I'm Darth Vader. I did not want to go right right there. I guess I had to. All right, it's kind of getting a little dark here. I don't think I'm going to be doing in outro video stuff tonight. We're just going to head on back and then call it a date. I don't know how well you can hear me with the wind noise at the moment. Oh man, I'm just starting to feel that cool air. You know, I kind of, you know, if you're going slower, it's, you know, the sun shining on you it's it's kind of that like right on that tipping point and now that the sun's kind of gone down i'm moving a little bit faster i'm feeling that cool air on me and it's just kind of cooling me down but i know that if i'm out here for too much longer it's gonna be it's gonna be a little too cold didn't wear my heated gloves today which by the way i really like those gloves so i'll definitely be bringing them out more when it is needed I was trying to be a safe rider, be a defensive rider, you know, ride safe and mind my surroundings. A much needed throttle therapy. Just kind of relax, focus on the road, forget about life for a second, you know what I'm saying? That would be a good title for this video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that's the title. Much needed throttle therapy. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me to this point. I don't really have too much else to say for today. Just kind of going out and just kind of saying what pops into my mind. So thank you all for listening. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video right there. Go ahead and like the video. Leave a comment. Always be extra careful when you get to four-way stops. If you haven't had a chance already to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that as well. And remember to always ride safe. Mind your surroundings, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.